Tonight, the Knoxville Police Department hosted its first Ask KPD live event. Members of the public could submit questions to Police Chief Eve Thomas, and many of the questions focused on the recent spat of violent crime we've seen in Knoxville. Reporter Katie Inman explains for some questions, there were no answers. Good evening. Thank you so much for tuning in to Facebook Live today. It's a rare opportunity. During the first ever Ask KPD Facebook Live, People who live in Knoxville submitted questions to hear KPD Police Chief Eve Thomas's direct response. But we want to make sure that the community is still able to engage with the Knoxville Police Department. It comes during a week when two juveniles were charged and appeared in court for the murder of Stanley Freeman Jr. Since they're underage, we aren't showing their faces. While the chief answered no questions about that investigation, Others begged for info about the recent violent crimes in the city, like how to be an anonymous tipster. Just getting that information gives us another avenue to look down for forensics or any other thing. So that's why we, we want as many anonymous tips as we can get. And whether or not there's a gang task force. We do have a gang intelligence. I'd like to assign more people to it. So generally our organized crime unit are all aware of our gang intelligence. So far in 2021, KPD has had 107 shots fired calls, 14 of which were homicides. And of course, 14, all 14 of our homicides have involved gunshot. That's compared to 33 shots fired homicides in all of 2020. One thing is for certain after the live stream ended, the community wants answers and is hungry for new information. In Knoxville, I'm Katie Inman. The Knoxville Police Department does say it's planning more Facebook Live events in the future. Investigators are still looking for tips in the recent violent crimes, and if you have one, they ask you, reach out.